is her third tightening and it's probably been about every eight weeks we've been doing it this is the worst we've seen with this thin hair silky hair now remind you those who are following her we started with braids all individual little bitty braids and then in the tightenings I tightened them up by the with the latch hook method four point rotation and so now today is exactly eight weeks since the last time I did it and all her back area is showing where they I guess this is what they call slippage because there's still the knotting and stuff in there I'm, uh, I'll come back once I tighten them all up and so now we're trying to figure out what she can do in the meantime gave her a solution for when she washes it to plait it up and then wash it and then her nighttime ritual maybe plait it in smaller bigger plaits and put it under her cap until we can really get them to start locking because when we come back we should be only really tightening up from about if she's doing eight weeks from about there up okay so this, this is still all trial and error with people who have that silky straight hair trying to go into doing these locks I'll come back after I have more done and once I get up closer into the middle and stuff but we can definitely tell it's all across the back where these have come loose all right I'm back and it's been whew, about an hour just a little over an hour and I'm only done probably five or six rows and I'm still having some issues right here so I don't understand what this is on this third tightening where the slippage or why the slippage is happening so I'm just retightening them some of her ends are budding as they call them or whatever but just wanted you guys to be aware that this might be an issue that you'll go through uh, these are all tightened right here I'm working on this right now I'll come back again all right so now this is about three hours in three hours and 15 minutes gets better as we go up but we'll um I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished we are complete and it took a total of five hours and 15 minutes to do 300 how many 317 uh, let's see how my lighting is here there we go they look good I got them all done my problem area was these four bottom these four four or five bottom rows right here and uh, so we're gonna do less on the oils on there I just sprayed some uh, water conditioner on there but uh, I don't see but it looks good she's got length now this is her third tightening or fourth third, third tightening she is starting to get in some budding on the on some of them so her process is just going to take a while um, I hope there's anything you want to say about this last experience of going up to it leading up to it or anything you want to share before I, um, I came in I noticed that there was a lot of thickness in the back and I really couldn't run my fingers through it like I usually can um, so Dana got me in and we decided that I, I'm not going to wait eight weeks. I'm going to do six weeks. Um, and we're going to try some, uh, sh she's going to let me know about some different techniques as far as trying to keep that back from matting up or growing, the braids growing together. Um, or, or 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 what they call slippage. Oh, slippage. Yeah, because we had a lot of, lot of slippage. A lot of slippage in the, in the back, back area. 
Um, so I'm, we're learning. I'm learning with there is a process. Um, and we try not to make it a, a expensive process because initially getting it done, you're spending hundreds of dollars to get it done. Right. And then you don't want to come back every six weeks and spend another hundreds of dollars. So trying to keep it in that 75, 60, 60 to 100, let's say, frame. And time, two to three, two and a half to three hours and be done with the tightening. But when you got got to go in and, and re-tighten or re, because of the slippage. But we got to remember what kind of hair we're working with. This right. is very thin, silky hair. But it's beautiful now. It's done. But we did it in two settings. We did three hours yesterday, and we finished up today with the other two and a half hours. So, uh, good. I'm, I'm very pleased. It was three hours plus two, so five. Five hours and 15 minutes. Yeah, five hours and 15 minutes. So I'm very pleased. She's very pleased. I love her curl pattern. It's just gorgeous. Feels good, very light. And you really can't tell that she has any teeny weeny braids unless you get really close up on her. And then right. when you get close up on her, you'll be like, those are little, who did those? are so little. <laughs> They're gorgeous, and I'll go around it one more time. Okay. All right, and they're beautiful, you guys. It's just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. So if it's something you're thinking about doing, go for it. Make sure whoever gets on your hair has patience. Okay? All right, well, we appreciate you following her. Sorry about that. Following her, my any teeny weeny braids are over. They're all pretty much matured now. And um, I've had them in two years. So when my birthday comes in September, I'll decide I'm going to keep them. My hardest thing is getting somebody to tighten me up. So if I can find another me, I would be happy. But I haven't found another me yet. But you guys, thank you for watching the video. Please leave any comments or concerns that you might have. We always answer. Uh, give us a thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please look around. We have a lot of pertinent information on here. Not just about hair, but just life. So again, you guys, just know that you are blessed by the best. Thanks.